G'day everyone, it's Bo from GrowthWise. Today I'm going to talk to you about this website here that shows everyone requesting a bulk download featuring payroll from Xero. Uh, but unfortunately Xero, at least, you know, have been honest about it and they've openly said here that it's a highly anticipated feature but they are not immediately planning to actually do anything about releasing it for Australia. So apparently it does work in the UK but us here in Australia doesn't actually have a functionality. Uh, because of that, today I decided let's go into some of the AI tools we have so I've used Grok and I've used Claude to develop some code that will actually help us do this function inside Xero. So I'm just going to talk you through quickly how to get that working. So what we're going to do, jump into payroll and go to the payslip section for the employee that you want to download the payslips in bulk for. Now what we're going to do is press Control, Shift and I on our keyboards and that's going to open up this Chrome developer console. Once this is here, normally I type in console dot clear and then two brackets and the reason for this is it just clears out anything that was in the screen just to make it a little bit tidier to actually read. Um, the next thing that we want to do is type in allow pasting and press enter. So by default if you try and paste something into here Chrome's going to give you this error that says don't paste code into DevTools console that you don't understand or haven't reviewed yourself which is true like make sure that if you are using any of this that someone's looked over it we have actually looked over it and the code is basically just it's pulling a url to get a code out of zero it's renaming the files as they download and it's basically emulating the clicks of each download button just for um you know transparency on what it's actually doing so what we now need to do once we've done allow pasting i've done it earlier so i don't need to do it again i've put in the description of this video the actual link to the code which is here so what we'll do, scroll to the bottom, we're going to now copy all of it and then we'll jump back into that page we were on before and we're going to paste it. Now before pasting it, what we're going to do is you'll notice at the top there's this line that says const max downloads and it's set to 10. So basically what this does is it just tells the script how many payslips do you want. So obviously if you want the last 12 payslips because you're on a monthly pay cycle, for example, just change this to 12. That's all you need to do there. Uh, if you want more, say if it's a full year, time, change it to 52. So I'm just going to do 12 for uh, example reasons. Now, once we've done this, all we need to do is simply press enter. So we've set the file, the amount of files that we want downloaded. And now if I press enter, you'll notice we'll start to get these outputs down the bottom that are actually saying that the payslips are being downloaded and you can see up here everything that's going on as well. So once it's actually downloaded, you'll see the prompt will finish. So, you know, we've got downloading 12 of 12, downloaded week ending, and you've got that whole, that whole log going back. Now, that's all you need to do. That should have downloaded all of the payslips. It's renamed them according to what the period over here says as well. So you shouldn't have to rename them. It'll just look at what is the most recent payslip and it will count back based on what you've actually entered in for how many you want downloaded. So just be aware it will include things like unscheduled as well. So all it's doing is anything that's you know going back from the top there, it's going to use that as the, the file renaming. And once it's done, if you actually go in and have a look at your download history, you can see everything. So let me just jump in because when I'm sharing this way, you can't actually see it. But now if I jump into here and now I think I'll need to do this one second, make it a bit bigger. So you can see now this is all the pay slips that we've downloaded. So if you actually look on the side over here you can see 6th of March, 27th of Feb, 20th of Feb so these all line up with the actual uh, the pay slips that are in Xero. Alright so I've just jumped back into Xero just to basically show what we we're talking about before this is where the file names come from it, it looks at what the period is so you don't have to rename any of that because it's really just trying to look at what's the quickest way of doing this so you don't have to rename files you know everything that you've got and so far this seems to be the best way to do it is basically just set a um a period chunk of how many in the cycle that you want actually want to actually download and it will rename upon downloading as well for you uh now once that's done obviously you can then zip them up do whatever you need to for that I just thought I'd mention as well, this script, if you basically go to another employee, all you need to do is copy and paste this script and press enter again, and it'll do the same thing. Just remember to just change that where it says max downloads to be however many that you actually want in the period. So if you want 100, set it to 100. If you want 
200, set it to 200 because zero loads that whole list when it actually loads payroll. You just set in the amount that you actually want to download based on from the top going backwards. So hopefully that's been helpful. Um, like I've mentioned before, there will be some links in the description, one about the what allow pasting is and some of the security risk with it, just to be open with that. Uh, and also they link to the actual Google script that will be available um, for everyone to be able to download. If this has been helpful, make sure you like and subscribe in this video. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can do some more things like this in the future.